Hey, this is Joe Crypto, back for another episode of All Things Crypto. Today, I've been invited back to the Watts Miner warehouse where they have an M20S demo unit that was just arrived, and I'm getting my first peeks in it. So, here it is, guys. First thing I notice is, is that it looks very similar to the M10S, uh, same design, same cavity, same size fans. These are bigger fans than the normal S9 type fans. It looks like a supersized box. We also have the same type of plug, the different, different plug, which we'll li link in the show notes. And then we also have the rails, which the power supply attaches to, so no clipping. Uh, and, and the power supply comes off the, the casing here. And so uh, I got a little brochure to also show you from uh, the factory about their history here. Um, and that's uh, Dr. Yang, a picture of the inventor of the S9 and S7 and all of the Watts miners. So uh, I'm sure you're eager to see it plugged in and powering and hashing. So let's uh, bring it on back to the uh, area where we can plug it in and uh, let's check it out. See you soon. Okay, so I'm here in the minor room. I shut off everything because I didn't want to uh, have a lot of noise while I talk to you guys. So. Right next to it is a D1, and here is the M20S. We have a little setup here uh, for a hot aisle, cold aisle, uh, where we put it through the wall. So you can see the, the unit is already mounted. And um, one thing to notice is uh, very similar to the M10S, the connector is very different on these bigger boxes. So be careful when you order your power cables for your PDUs. Uh, this is what you're going to need as far as a power cable. Uh, I'll list it in the uh, screen show notes of what kind of cable it uses. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn her on. Let's get the ethernet cable and we shall plug that in here. Like so. so when choosing your cable, make sure that you use a 12 gauge wire because this unit pulls a lot of amperage and you don't want it to overheat. So here you go, I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, so we're back at the terminal and I'm going to log into the miner, uh, find the IP address and now you can see that the unit is running and hashing at about 16 terahash on startup. Uh, you can see the uptime and uh, the load time, load averages, sorry. Okay, here's the interface, show you the IP address and here's the pool information. And uh, that's where you set your pool and your worker. 
So the M20S takes a little bit to uh, warm up. It goes through a few pre-checks on all the chips so that you can uh, get it up to the 68 terahash. This box only runs at 65, so it's gonna pretty much do the same thing. It's going to continue at about 13 to 16, as you see I'm refreshing, and then it's going to uh, immediately jump up once it finishes testing all the chips. So don't be alarmed if your M20S is not hashing right out uh, the box and plugged in. It's going to take about 15 minutes to 20 minutes to warm up. Okay, so what we'll do is, is we'll keep refreshing and then hopefully uh, we're gonna get to the point where we see the hashing. Okay, so now you see we have 65 terahash. The machine uh, lapse time changes, but the overall uh, time Uptime does not. You can see it's 15 minutes still. So it took about 15 minutes, like I said, to get to the 65T. And it will be the same thing for the 68T. Okay, so it's still at 65T. And you can see it's elapsed time is now three minutes. I keep on refreshing and the effective chips are 105 each on each board and the temperatures look good. At ranging around 77, 78. It's going to stabilize here and uh, I'll keep on refreshing for a little bit to show you what it looks like when uh, it starts hashing further. Now we're going to jump to a little later in time to show you that the box has been online for a while. Okay, as you see here, I have the box running for 17 hours. I'm going to log back in and it's going to uh, show me now it's 22 hours. This was a, a time elapsed video I did. So as you can see, we're still running at the same frequencies and doing all of our work. You can see now our actual box uptime and the, uh, the log, sorry, Let's switch back. Let's go to the, uh, the main area overview and then you can see the uptime here, 23 hours and uh, the date is, is uh, June 26 when I tested this. So as you can see, we're uh, hashing at 65 and uh, just a spec and the box looks real good. Over time, it's been up for 22 hours. That's what we want to see. So let's go in back into the other room and check the miner and the noise as well as the power consumption. Okay, we're back here. I just wanted you guys to hear the miner running at 65T before I go to the panel and show you the power that it draws from the meter. So here it is. Not that bad. What I noticed is, is that this unit cools better and runs better with the bigger fans. As you can see, this is clearly bigger than this one. This is the the, five, uh, the regular ones, and these are the big five and a quarter inch fans, I believe. So let's head over to the uh, panel so that we can check the uh, the amperage that it's uh, running. Okay, so uh, here we are back at the panel. I'm going to measure the uh, amps of the M20S demo that I'm testing. I'm going to go ahead and clip this on there and let's see how much it gets. Okay, let's see. It is, this is 13.6, 13.7. And remember, this is at 240 volts. If you're at 220, it's going to be a little higher than this. And we're running at 65, 66T. Uh, so there you have it. This is Joe Crypto, over and out.